morning everyone and welcome to our July First Friday devotions. I suppose the theme of this morning's devotions is really looking to the future but I want to begin by congratulating everyone on their work over the past three months. It has been challenging learning and teaching remotely and I would like to recognise the huge effort put in by our teachers in supporting the students. We had very little time to plan and they have excelled. Thank you to all of you who have responded to our recent past pupil parent, pupil, parent and staff surveys. We will use the feedback to inform our planning for next term and do be assured that the leadership team, the teachers and the support staff are working very hard uh, to put plans in place. Speaking of next term, current students should have received reports or letters from their year head and me informing them of provisional arrangements for the new term. If social distancing is still set at one metre for young people, we will be dividing form classes into two groups, with each group attending school half the time and learning at home on other days. We will ensure siblings are in the same group, but with also having to consider the number travelling to school on buses, we will be unable to facilitate particular friendship groups. Hope you understand. We understand the difficulties of printing work at home and we will try to ensure that workbooks, etc. are photocopied and distributed on the days you're in school. You have also received information on GCSE and A-level results days if relevant and on registration days and should be aware that the teaching for S2s and Upper 6th will begin on the 25th of August and for other year groups on the 1st of September. We have not forgotten our new J1s and we are currently finalising an information booklet which will be posted to you next week with a letter from me about your new form class. As usual, we think of those in our school community who need our prayers. We pray this morning particularly for Mrs Nuala Lynch, sister of Mrs O'Donnell and sister-in-law of Mr O'Donnell who has sadly passed away. Mrs O'Donnell, please know that we are thinking of you and all of Nuala's family and friends at this difficult time. And we will be sharing an online book of condolence for Mrs Lynch in the next few days. Today, I am introducing you to our two new vice principals, Mrs Mason and Miss Murphy, who will say a few words to you. I am also pleased to let you know that Mrs McAllister has agreed to stay on in the role of Sanko for the first few months of next term. I'm also pleased this morning to let you know that we have selected our new senior council. So our senior council are Esther Abiona, Kate Cunningham, Emily Farnan, Janie Feehan, Emer Fitzpatrick, Lauren Kane, Emer Kernan, Emer Mason, Caitlin Murphy Harris, Cleana Sheehan, and Katrina Sledden. Our deputy head girls are Ellie Lavery and Maria Robinson. And finally, last but not least, our head girl is Nicola Pukowski. We look forward to hearing messages from Nicola and Mrs McAllister at the August First Friday devotions. Finally today, I want to thank Brenna Byrne and the Smith family for our music. And we will have some messages shortly from representatives of all the current year groups in school. So all that remains this morning is for me to wish you and your families a safe and restful summer in our beautiful country. Take care everyone and stay safe. Dear Lord, as we begin our summer holidays, we ask you to guide and protect all of us and our families and friends. Help us to act responsibly as we enjoy time with each other. Help us to reach out to those in need Help us to console those who are in mourning. Help us to cope with the changes in our lives and help us to respect our fragile planet and create a better world. Lord, help us to share our gifts with others and thank you for the gifts of life, love, peace and happiness. Thank you for the gift of each other. May we never take our gifts for granted. Mother, Mary, our mother and patron of our school, whisper a prayer for us to your son, that we may all keep well and safe. We pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nineteen years ago, when I started teaching in our ladies, I never could have imagined that I would be speaking to you today as one of two newly appointed vice principals. I joined our ladies as head of geography in 2002, and I can honestly say that I have loved every minute of the past 19 years teaching. Three years ago, I joined the senior leadership team in school, and now, here I am as vice principal. Who would have thought? Mrs. McAlinden has asked me to record this very brief video message to introduce myself as vice principal to the school community. I don't remember seeing this in the job description, but here goes. Hello to everyone watching. Most of you know me very well already. My name is Mrs. Mason, and I'm delighted to introduce myself to you all as one of the new vice principals of Our Ladies. I'm very proud to be a member of the staff in Our Ladies. All of our staff work so well together to ensure that each girl fulfills her full potential in a warm, supportive environment. I'm also very proud of the academic success of each student and take great pride in seeing girls on results day, achieving the grades they so richly deserve and in many cases, surpassing their own expectations. However, I am even more proud of the fact that they do this while being kind, compassionate and responsible young people. Our students are a true reflection of Catherine Macaulay's mercy vision of scholarship, service and spirituality. I didn't think I could be more proud of our ladies, but the experiences of the past few months have proven me wrong. During lockdown, I have witnessed the community of our ladies pull together like never before to ensure all of our students continue to get access to high quality teaching and learning, but also to ensure that all members of the community are keeping safe and well. You have demonstrated creativity, resilience, dedication and social conscience. I hope that as we start a new chapter in our ladies, these are some of the characteristics that we carry forward. When we return to school in August and September, we will be using new vocabulary, social distancing, blended learning, protective bubbles, new normal. We will have new routines such as hand sanitizing and maybe not so new but strictly enforced one-way systems. But what won't be new to you will be the support that you are used to in school. That will continue to be there in abundance. All of the staff will be there, like before, to help support you through these changes. You'll be able to catch up with friends, rebuild connections with teachers and re-establish routines. This is an opportunity to start off the new academic year with fresh hopes and the chance to reach new heights as we set new goals and strive to reach our full potential. There may well be challenges ahead of us, but it is important to recognise that those challenges are there to give us a chance to build character, to learn and to grow. I hope to work with Mrs McAlinden and Miss Murphy to ensure that each of us will be successful in achieving our goals and dreams in the coming years. Just before I finish, I would like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to Mrs McAllister and to wish her all the best for her retirement. I think you will agree that she will be a hard act to follow. I'm very thankful that I have had the opportunity to work with her and to learn from her during her time as Vice Principal of Our Ladies. If I'm able to emulate a small fraction of her strengths of compassion and dedication and integrity and her many successes, I will be happy. I would also like to extend a very warm welcome to Miss Murphy and to wish her every success in her new role. I am really looking forward to working with her. I know she will be a huge asset to our school. All that is left for me to say is enjoy your summer, take a well-earned rest, recharge the batteries and be good to yourself and to others. Stay safe and I will see you all in August, September. God bless. Hello to all our pupils, parents, staff, governors and the whole school community. I'm delighted to be joining the staff of Our Ladies Grammar School in September as one of your new Vice Principals. My name is Miss Katrina Murphy and when Miss McAlinden asked me to put together this video for the July First Friday devotions, 
I was delighted to be able to introduce myself to you, albeit virtually, um, and I look forward to being able to do that face to face in September. So what I thought I would do um, is to let you find out a little bit more about me. And I thought I would do that through showing you some of my lockdown essentials, items that have really helped me get through the last few months. Uh, because it's been difficult, it's been difficult for us all, um, but some things have, I suppose, made it a little bit easier. So first of all, this is my Kindle. Um, I am a massive reader. I love to read. Um, I've made my way through some of my to be read pile, not them all, still have quite a few there. Uh, but one of the best books that I have read during lockdown is this one. And it's a follow up to a book that I read earlier. It's by one of my favourite authors. Definitely would recommend that. Uh, the second of my lockdown essentials is my family. Um, family to me are extremely important. And I'm really looking forward to getting to know you and your families so that we can work together to support you, our pupils, as best we can. I also have my rosary beads. Um, I would have prayed the rosary a lot when I was younger, um, but if I'm honest, I probably got out of the way of it. Um, but at the beginning of lockdown, my parish started um, on Facebook Live uh, to recite the rosary every evening with the priests of the parish. And I think that has been really special. Um, I also think, you know, it's one of the massive benefits of technology is that as difficult as it's been, technology has allowed us to connect on so many levels, to connect with our friends that we haven't seen, to connect with family. And certainly for me, it's been a massive connection with the church, particularly when the church has been closed. I also am a huge fan of music, um, more listening, if I'm honest, uh, than performing, but um, hopefully you might be able to see my piano behind me. Um, just a few years ago, I decided that I would start to learn the piano and it's something that I spend a lot of my spare time now doing and I really love that and I'm so looking forward to sharing in all the musical talent that I know is in our ladies. And for some of you, it will be performance and you love to be on stage and you like to be at the front and for others, it's just listening and appreciating uh, the fantastic music talent that's out there. So I'm really looking forward to that. I also am a fan of learning new things. So just before lockdown, um, just coincidentally, I had started a crocheting class. So I have used some of my time during lockdown um, to create or make what I'm calling my COVID blanket. Um, so I'm not there yet, but almost. Um, and hopefully come September, I'll be able to show you some pictures of the finished product. But that's been great and again i'm really looking forward to seeing all the wonderful talents and skills that you ladies have and to be able to share in some of those things and finally um swimming goggles i i'm a i'm a massive fan of water um it's been difficult because the swimming pool has been closed um and what i've done then is like many people is trying to change and adapt so I have um, started a little bit of open water swimming and that's certainly very different. It's a very different challenge, but an exciting challenge. Um, and so far, I'll be honest, um, I have really enjoyed it. I'm getting used to the cold water. And my goodness, there are days that it is cold, but it's lovely to be able to do that. And I say that certainly that new experience has been fantastic. So look, there are many things that I'm looking forward to. Um, to discovering with you all, to finding out who you are, to finding out more about you and your families and to supporting you through uh, the next few years. So until September, please look after yourselves, look after each other, make the most of the time that you have with your family and the time that you can spend with your friends. And I can't wait to meet you all face to face and I look forward to working with you over the next few years in Our Lady's Grammar School. Have a great summer.
this year. I'm thankful for getting into Our Ladies and meeting new people, some of whom are now my close friends. I'm also thankful for learning new subjects such as the languages as I enjoy them a lot. Maybe you could think about what you're thankful for. When there's negativity, we always have to look for the positives, such as coronavirus. I know you might be thinking, there's nothing positive about coronavirus. But from an environmental point of view, things actually have been changing. The earth has been getting a chance to breathe. The ozone layer has slowly been repairing itself as there weren't that many cars going to and from work all day every day and I'm very thankful for that. Personally, I'm also thankful for technology during this pandemic. It allows us to get in touch with our friends, to access work and just have something to do. I'm also thankful for spending more time with my family, for the lovely weather and for discovering my love of baking. For the future, I hope that everything will go back to normal soon enough so that everyone is safe and I'm sure most people agree with me on that. I also can't wait to meet my extended family and my OLS friends soon. Bye! This is a reflection I have chosen, as sometimes we worry too much about the future and things we cannot change. And maybe we should just try to live in the now. Just close your eyes and open your heart and feel your worries and cares depart. Just yield yourself to the Father above and let him hold you secure in his love. For life on earth, grows more involved with endless problems that can't be solved. But God only asks us to do our best, then he will take over and finish the rest. So when you're tired, discouraged and blue, there's always one door that is open to you. Although this year has been challenging in some aspects, from World War III threats to a global pandemic, it has also been a time of important change in our society. Following the death of George Floyd, millions of people across the world have been fighting for black lives. So far in 2020, there has been huge progress within the Black Lives Matter movement. And even though we still have a long way to go until racism is completely dead, the difficulties of 2020 have allowed us to start making positive changes. So what if 2020 isn't cancelled? What if 2020 is the year we've been waiting for? A year so uncomfortable, so painful, so scary and so raw that it finally forces us to grow. A year that screams so loud, finally awakening us from our ignorant slumber. A year we finally accept the need for change declare change, work for change and become the change. A year we finally band together instead of pushing each other further apart. 2020 isn't cancelled, but rather the most important year of them all.
is Shane McQuaid and it is my pleasure to be representing the S1 Year Group at this virtual First Friday Devotions for July. The past year we have encountered many challenges as a school community, challenges to both our life and to our learning. I know I have missed seeing my friends and teachers here in Our Lady so much, yet throughout all of this there has been so much to be thankful for and this should give us all the energy and enthusiasm for the future. I would like to share a poem on behalf of all the S1s. For me, this poem is about adopting an attitude of gratitude each day and focusing on the good, even when it's not easy. Every morning I can choose to have a wonderful day, no matter how I'm feeling or what hurdles are in my way. Being grateful for what I have, what I see, hear, smell and touch helps me to remain peaceful in a world that needs peace so much. I make time each day to be quiet, to acknowledge my inner power, to be the best that I can be in every precious hour. No one thinks exactly like me or knows what is on my mind. My actions are what speaks to them so I strive to be loving and kind. Am I perfect? No, I'm not. My knowledge grows each day. I don't always get it right, but I do my best, my way. Hi everybody. Although this year is ending in a rather odd way, it is important that we take time to reflect on our past school year and look forward to the new experiences our future will bring. As a whole school community, students and staff, we realise that there are countless things that we took for granted. We took school for granted. We took for granted our necessary but tiring daily routine. We took for granted seeing our cherished teachers in person for six hours a day and catching up with gossip. We took daydreaming in class when we should have been listening for granted. We took for granted walking more than 100 steps a day. We took for granted seeing our wider family in real life. We took for granted being able to show our love or appreciation by a simple hug. We took for granted our beloved sports. We took for granted going out to eat or meeting friends for a coffee. We took for granted making memories. As Year 12 pupils, we can guarantee that we've made memories as a year group that we will never forget. We definitely won't forget how Mr Kirk always took a daily nosy every morning to the cloakroom to see what the crack was. We certainly won't forget how he dramatically attempted to gather everyone's attention by jumping on and off the stage in the Catherine Macaulay Hall. We will never forget our 21st concerts, or more importantly, the stress of trying to make up a brand new idea minutes before our class was called down. As of next year, some of us will choose to stay and complete our education here in Our Ladies. Some will find their place in a different school environment, and others may have a completely different approach to the year ahead altogether. From 125 girls in our year group, not all of us will choose the same paths in life, but hopefully all of us will go on to bigger and better things in the future. As life goes back to normal, or what we vaguely remember normal to be, we remember that we will be making our own choices, and we will have freedom to control our lives, well, to a certain extent. No matter what we all choose to do with our lives, each and every one of us can look towards a bright and prosperous future. We pray for a future where we love and are loved, and where we are guided by the values that we are developing through our time in Our Ladies. God our Father, you see us as your children growing up in an unsteady and confusing world. Show us that your ways give more life than the ways of the world, and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help us to take failure not as a measure of our worth, but as a chance for a new start. Give us strength to hold our faith in you and to keep alive the joy in your creation. We don't know what our future holds, but we have great excitement about our future potential. Make our futures overflow with love, kindness, gratitude, success and appreciation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God of my life, I welcome this new day. It is your gift to me, a new creation, a promise of resurrection. I thank you for the grace of being alive this morning. I thank you for the sleep that has refreshed me. I thank you for this chance to make a new beginning. 
This day, Lord, is full of promise and opportunity. Let me waste none of it. This day is full of mystery and the unknown. Help me to face it without fear or anxiety. This day is blessed with beauty and adventure. Make me fully alive to it all. On behalf of Lower Sixth, I would like to share our thanks for what has been this year. Through the happy and easy times or the sad and difficult, each person in our school community has grown and become even more resilient, especially during these uncertain times. At the end of this school year, we give thanks to God for all the teaching and learning that has taken place in our school, both in and out of the classroom, for the talents and gifts that have been shared and the challenges that have been faced, for the burdens that have been lifted and the hurts that have been healed, for the respect and care that has been given. We give thanks for the friendships that have just begun and for those that have grown. COVID-19 has taught us to slow down, to reflect, to reboot and to count our blessings. We have learned to be thankful and be grateful. Gratitude increases our happiness and encourages greater joy, love, peace and optimism into our lives. We have learned to be stronger. Mentally strong people have the ability to see the positives in tough circumstances. The difficult part of the here and now is being able to trust that there is a bigger picture that lends meaning and relevance to the trials we face today. We are also very hopeful for the future and want to continue on our path guided by God. We hope for a better society, free from racism and discrimination. We pray for Shannon and her family and for all those in our school community who have lost loved ones throughout the year. We ask God to support them and shine his light upon them in the difficult days ahead. Dear God, I don't know what the future holds, but I know the future is in your hands. Bring me to a better tomorrow. Make the days of my life and the life of my days overflow with love, kindness and appreciation. Amen. On behalf of Upper Sixth Fancy Shanty, I would like to thank our ladies for all of the fond memories you have created for us right through our junior years, GCSEs, A-levels and up until Friday the 13th of March. We've done great things as a year group, sharing experiences which we will cherish forever, from formal retreat, PD sessions, school trips and forming friendships that will last a lifetime. It is surreal and a shame to think it has ended so abruptly. For the moment, our lives have been put on pause due to COVID-19. But I think it has, it has made us realise the little things in life which we have took for granted. Human contact, meeting loved ones, seeing familiar faces, a sense of routine and most importantly, our health. I cannot wait for normality to be a reality. I wish everyone in the Our Ladies community the best of luck for next year, which will be a challenge due to social distancing, but I hope all goes well. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. God guide us in the coming year, especially to Upper Sixth 2020. Good luck wherever you go and whatever you do. And keep us all safe.